at Marvel these different rooms, more popularly known as MTR. Now this is an institution when it comes to South Indian food. It's been around for nine decades and they have nine branches across the city. They also have branches in Singapore and Dubai. I've just ordered some masala dosa. Let's see how that is. First thing we have is a normal rice idli. Now we're gonna start with putting the ghee on that. And then you basically eat it with the chutney and the sambar here. Or you just drown it in the sambar. So my masala dosa is here. Okay, now our masala dosa is also meant to be eaten with the sambar and the chutney. This is for our international viewers who don't know about it. And that is all clarified butter or ghee on it. So I'm going to flip it over so you can see what's inside. It has um, a bit of a potato uh, and onion mix, which is why it's called a masala dosa because that's the masala in the dosa. So you've got to have a bit of everything. So start with taking that, a little bit of the masala and then some chutney and you're in heaven. So good. So they also have the most amazing coffee here and that's how you cool it. South Indian coffee is the best. Thank you MPR for the best South Indian breakfast I have ever eaten. That was so good. If you're in Bangalore, you cannot miss it. So we are at Windsor Pub, which is a good old-fashioned beer pub with lovely old world charm about it. It's got these lovely posters, retro posters across the walls. Now the best part about this pub is the food. So we are here for dinner and I'm going to order. Now what have we got here tonight? What we have here right in the middle is what we call the bedi erichi. Right. Yeah, bedi means shoot, mm -hmm. erichi means meat in Malayalam, mm -hmm. from Kerala again. It's right. one of the old dishes, one of the old recipes that we revive. We basically shredded beef, mixed along with the shallots and garlic. Yummy. Yeah, it's a little chewy in flavor, but gets more juicy as you chew on it. Mm -hmm. These are prawns, these are good old style Malabar prawns mm -hmm. that we have over here, with the Malabar spices again. Right. Yeah, so it hits the taste buds right. That is from Koorg again. Mm -hmm. uh, what we call over there, we call it the Pandi Fry. Mm -hmm. That's what we call it. Pandi fry. Pandi fry. Pandi meaning pork. That sounds good. Should we dig in? You must, you must. Don't wait too long. I'm going to start with this because it looks divine. This is really yummy. Like I've never had beef like this and it's really good. Let's try some pork. Let's try some Malabar prawns. It's amazing. This is so good. Thank you in the pub for that yummy dinner. If you're in Bangalore and you enjoy some retro music and South Indian food, make sure you come here. So next on the food trail, we have Art of Delight, which is a dessert and ice cream place. Now it's also an art gallery, which is pretty interesting. So let's go check it out. ice creams. Um, I'm going to taste I think all and pick the one I want because they're such unique different flavors. So uh, can I start with the guava sorbet? Can I try some of that please? Thank you. Mm, the salted caramel. Mm, that is so good. Okay, so I think I'm going to have a scoop of the guava sobe. So they also have a lot of other interesting desserts. I think I'm gonna get, what would you recommend? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go with that. They have 
have a beautiful outdoorsy area where you can sit and enjoy your dessert or ice cream. They've also got art exhibits everywhere so you can actually buy these as well. So yeah, dessert and art, I think it's an incredible combination. Now it's time to try. The sorbet is so good. It's like really rich with like flavors of guava but it's really light, yummy, totally delicious. Now this is really interesting, it's cheesecake in a jar. So you can see it's got the three layers. Let's see what the Nutella cheesecake tastes like. That is good. So it's only 190 rupees for the two desserts, which I think is really good because the quality of the dessert is amazing. So you've definitely got to come here. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you guys.